Hi everyone, it's been a long time since I posted a video. Recently, I noticed a lot of updates in Tinkercad. So today, we'll try to explore the updates by designing a smart irrigation system. Actually, we have designed it already, but still we'll try it again in a different way. First, log in to Tinkercad. This window itself looks very different from the previous one. Here, click Designs. Next, click Create. Here, choose Circuit. Now you will get into the workspace. First, give a name to the circuit. So we'll name it as Smart Irrigation System using Soil Moisture Sensor. Click Enter. Now we can choose the components for constructing the circuit. Here, choose All. First, we'll drag and drop the Soil Moisture Sensor. This will help you to know the moisture content of the soil. Then, in order to view the sensor value, we can choose a LCD display. Here there are two. We will choose this I2C LCD display because the circuit connections will be easier here. It is MCP23008 based. This LCD is a 16 cross 2 display. Here you can display 16 characters in two rows. Then choose Arduino board. If you need, you can choose a breadboard also. It is up to you to make connections with breadboard or not. Then a DC motor which will help you to water the land. Now decide the scenario that we are trying to set up for designing this smart irrigation system. First we should get the moisture content of the soil by using the soil moisture sensor. Then display that sensor value in the LCD monitor. Then depending upon this moisture content of the soil, we will switch the motor on and off. That is when the moisture is less, then we will switch the motor on to water the land. If the moisture content is more, then we will stop the motor so that we will not water the land. Right? So this is the scenario that we are trying to set up. Let's start the connection. First we will take the soil moisture sensor. We have three pins here. First is VCC that is power supply. Connect this to 3.3 volts. Put it in red color. Next ground. Connect it to ground. Put it in black. Next is signal pin. We will connect it to any of this analog pin. I connect it to A2. Next we will connect this LCD display. First the ground connection to be connected to the ground. Put it in black. Next we have VCC. This LCD display should be connected to this 5 volts. If not, it will not work. So this is one common mistake. So connect the LCD display to 5 volts. Next connect this SDA that is serial data pin of this LCD to the serial data pin of the Arduino board. Put it in a different color. Next serial clock pin of this LCD to the serial clock pin of Arduino. Next we will connect this DC motor. We will rotate it. In order to run this DC motor in our earlier circuits we used this H bridge motor driver. We can also use this relay SPDT. So all this will help to run this DC motor in a better way. These are optional. You can also work out the circuit without this. The only thing is the motor will run very slowly. That will be the only difference. If you want to run it in a faster way, you can use these relay SPDT and h bridge motor drivers. Now we'll try it simply with this DC motor alone. Terminal 1 to be connected to any of this digital PWM pins. I'm connecting to pin number 3. Next, terminal 2, I am connecting to digital PWM pin 4. Put it in a different color. Hope all our connections are made. Hope everything is correct. Let's get into the coding now. You can remove all the default ones. As you know, you can create with blocks or blocks plus text or you can write your own code. It is up to you to choose it. As usual, we will choose blocks because it is the simplest way. First, you can choose notation and you can give the name of the circuit. This is optional. The next important thing is creating the variable. So click on variable, click create. You can give a name for the variable. I give it as moisture. Click OK. Now we have to set this moisture variable to read its value from the soil moisture sensor. Here the signal pin is connected to A2. So from 
input we can choose this read analog pin as it is connected to A2 we can choose A2. Now the variable moisture will get the value from this analog pin A2. Next we will display this value in the LCD display. Choose output. First we need to configure the LCD. So choose configure LCD. Check this LCD it is 1. So here also it is 1. It is correct. Next we need to set the position on this LCD to display our content. So in what position of column and row we need to display our content. We have to choose that. So 0, 0 will be this position. 0 row, 0 column. If you want it in the next row you can choose it to be 1. Now what content you want to print. For that choose print LCD. Either you can choose the variable and directly display the moisture content value or you can give some description for the sensor value. I, I give it as moisture. So first moisture will get printed on this LCD display. Again we will set the position on LCD to display the moisture content value. So I search it in the next row. I put it as row 1. In the next row I print the moisture content value. Click variable, choose this and place it here. So in the first row the description moisture will be printed. In the next row the moisture content that is read from this moisture sensor will be printed. Next we need to choose the condition for the scenario. You can choose if condition, if else condition. I choose this if else condition. Choose this mathematical formulation to set that condition. If the moisture content is less than say to be 300 then we will set the pins of the DC motor to be on. The DC motor pins are connected to 3 and 4. So I will keep it in on condition, running condition. So if the moisture content is high, if the soil has good moisture, then the DC motor should get off. So I make these two pins to be low so that the motor will be off. First, the soil moisture content will be taken from this sensor from the analog pin A2. Then it will get displayed in the LCD monitor. If the moisture content is less than 300, then the motor will go on. If it is greater than 300, then the motor will go off. Hope our coding is correct. Let's start the simulation. Click start simulation. Click on this moisture sensor. Now move this sensor. So you can notice that the moisture content is 152 that is less than 300 so if the moisture content is less then the motor is on you can see the motor is moving you can see the motor is moving very slowly this is for what in the earlier circuits we used H-bridge motor driver we can also use relay SPDT all this will drive the motor to run fast as we have not connected all this the motor is running very slowly now if the moisture content is high say the moisture content is 459 that is above 300 you can notice the motor is off the motor is off so this is how the irrigation system works when the moisture content is low below 300 the motor is on so that the land gets irrigated if the moisture content in the soil is high then the motor goes off try the circuit and let me know how it works thank you for watching the video